Welcome. Welcome to our final 2020 virtual VBS craft session, day five. How many of you have noticed that each craft session I've worn red? Wonder why? Red represents the blood that Jesus shed for us on the cross so that we could have salvation. Today's craft represents the reward that we will receive. Today's reward craft it comes in two versions. You have a coloring page and stand-up trophies. And you have two versions or two choices for the trophy that you may decide to use. Color them as you choose. When you receive Day 5's craft session information, the link, you will receive the outline for the two trophies in one document, so they'll both be in one document. You'll receive the words for the trophies, as you see here, words here and words here. You'll receive the table coloring page and the instructions, another coloring page with the instructions. I will demonstrate how to create the stands and how to assemble the trophies. I believe you can color the table page on your own. Step one, first you want to decide which trophy you want to make. Do you want to make the curvy kind, and I'm going to refer to this one as the curvy, or the straight edge trophy? You're going to print off the trophy, the line drawing, either this one or this one. And you also want to print off the words that will go on the trophy. You want to gather your materials. You'll need a Sharpie, black Sharpie if you have one, your glue stick, a pair of scissors, a pencil, crayons, and a ruler would be helpful and you'll see where that'll come in handy. Step two. Place your trophy outline under the text that will go in that section. So as you can see, I'm placing the text over the square section. You're going to trace over the outline so that you'll know where to cut. I'm going to do the same thing with the bigger portion of the cup portion of the trophy. I place the trophy underneath and then I'm going to just trace along so I know this is where I'm going to cut. Now I'm going to, I would do the same thing if I were using this trophy. I would place this on the text, underneath the text, and do the same thing. And as you can see, this section of this, this trophy is a lot bigger than the section here. So you would cut it a little smaller. But we're gonna work with this one. I'm going to cut around the line that I drew this lets me know it will fit in the section of the trophy. I'm going to cut around this portion right on the line that I drew, that I traced, which tells me that it'll fit right inside that trophy cup. And now I know that this will fit here. And because I traced it, this will fit here. Step three, you, using your glue stick, you are going to glue the back of each section. And place it in the proper section of your trophy.
perfect fit because you traced on that section. Now you're going to color your trophy. You can leave it plain if you want. And then you're gonna cut out your trophy. Step four. Now you know how to cut along the outer edges, but what I'm gonna show you is how to cut inside the handle. You're going to just bend the paper just a little bit to get a little clip started. And you're gonna clip like this, just enough to get your scissors in there. And then you're gonna go in and cut that handle out. Often people have difficulty trying to figure out how do I get inside the handle? So that's why I'm showing you how to do it now. And you're gonna cut around and I'm only gonna show you one just so that you can get the idea. So once you've cut out all of the trophy, then you cut out the sides and you have a trophy that looks like that one standing here. Step five, now it's time to make the stand. Take a plain piece of eight and a half by 11 paper, hold it vertically or hot dog style. Now, if you're making this trophy, the full length of this trophy measures eight and a quarter inches. This paper is 11 inches. So I'm going to measure to eight and a quarter inches and I'm gonna cut off the excess. So eight and a quarter, I'm gonna make three marks. Eight and a quarter here, eight and a quarter, and another eight and a quarter. Now, you don't necessarily have to use the scissors to cut off the extra. I like to fold it and make sure I fold it right on those tick marks. Give a sharp, sharp edge with my fingernail. I like to fold it over again backwards on that same line Give it a sharp, sharp edge, and then I tear it. This way, I know that I am cutting exactly what I measured off, and I'm not making a mistake with my scissors. So now I have it the length of my trophy. All right, so now that we have the paper the correct length, eight and a quarter inch, I'm going to fold about a half an inch on each side. This is the width, not the length side, okay? Half an inch and a half an inch on the other side. Now, I'm going to fold the paper into three equal parts. You can measure if you want, but I'm going to estimate. Now I have my paper in three equal parts with two flaps on the edge. I'm gonna take one of these flaps and I'm gonna use my glue stick and run glue, opening it up on the inside of the flap, not on the folded outside, on the inside, because I'm gonna connect these two. So I'm gonna run the glue stick right down. And I'm going to take this folded edge, I'm gonna match it up to the crease here and I'm gonna fold that glue and make sure you're matching the edges up perfectly. You use a glue stick because it gives you some time to make corrections. And fold that edge over. This gives the stand some extra weight. And now you have your stand.
it's time to attach your trophy or your coloring page to your stand. After you've cut out your trophy, like I have here, you're going to attach it to the stand. Now, let me give you a little hint. What I always do is I am going to place the stand and center it as best I can on the back of my trophy. I'm going to make two tick marks so I know that within these two tick marks, this is where I'm going to place my glue. Using my glue stick, I'm going to place some glue in between those marks that I made. Now, obviously, this is a very thin section, so you can only go down that portion of the trophy. And you're gonna go all the way down to the edge. Now, with the section that was glued over, this is giving you that extra weight. You want that part to be sticking up. And I'm going to place the trophy matching the bottom edge up so that when it stands in between those lines and I'm gonna place it down. I'm going to use my ruler to press the glue down and all the way for the full length of the trophy. And that will get the glue to adhere to the trophy. And now I have my trophy on a stand. You will do the same thing for the picture. If you do the coloring page and the other trophy. One thing I want you to make note of, if you're doing this trophy, the full length of this trophy is nine and a quarter. So you would measure your paper nine and a quarter inches and cut that off, just like we made this one shorter. And there you have it, your trophy, which says, your reward, well done, my good and faithful servant, from Matthew 25, verse 21. And it says, look, I am coming soon, bringing my reward with me to repay all people according to their deeds. And that's from Revelation 22, 12, the New Living Translation. One more thing. What's missing from this trophy? Yes, your name. You need to write your name right here. I'm going to put my name, Doriel, and that is where you would write your name. And it's best to write your name before you color it out, cut it out when it's a full sheet like this. If you choose to do the coloring page instead of the trophy, let me talk about the instructions. Again, at the top of the page, it says, well done, my good and faithful servant, Matthew 25, 21. You'll see a picture of a table setting and you'll see a line and it says, write your name here. And this is where you would write your name. And it says, for instance, Doriel, take your seat. At the bottom, it has Psalm 23, 5. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. This is the table that God has set for you for doing his word. The directions color the entire background of this page as if it is in the sky. Blue sky with white clouds and a sun. That's just an example, as you see here. Color the table, chairs, flowers, and drape any way you'd like. Use this coloring page as a reminder of the reward you will see when you follow God's word. This concludes day five and the final 2020 virtual VBS craft session. You still have time to complete any of the crafts. Remember to take a photo of your completed craft 
and send it to sumcvbs one at gbitmail.com. We still want your photos because we want to showcase your crafts. Don't forget, you've got this with Jesus, and you can do all things because Christ gives you strength. Bye. See you next year.